Okay, um, in this case, if you haven't already installed the project manager, you'll click on the settings button, extensions, and that's the extension that you're looking for. Now that'll put that little folder icon on the lower on the left side column by creating a project. So I'm just going to click that save project button and give it the uh, directory or the project name which I'll call Ansible with a capital A and it'll display that on the left side as one of potentially many projects. Now to edit the contents of that so I can point it to the right directory I'm going to click this little pencil icon just above the project list and it'll open up a JSON file and that's pretty typical uh, of what you can expect. Now I'm going to change the directory so that it points to a subdirectory when it opens instead of the whole root directory of Ansible. If you were using uh, Windows, as a for instance, I'm dragging this over from my Windows computer, uh, a little different format. You've got the drive letter colon, um, uh, multiple slashes to escape, and uh, so a little different layout on Windows. We're going to go ahead and close that JSON file. You can take a look at now. Uh, that's the original directory structure. Now we're going to double click on the project in Project Manager and you can see how it will open directly the folder that I asked it to. Now if you wanted to create a new project, you could hit that same pencil icon because that applies to all projects, not just this one. And uh, you would manually edit the JSON file, create a new one underneath it, put a comma in there to separate it, and uh, give it a name and give it a path. And you could create as many projects as you want in that same fashion. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.